Seven fucking fabulous fragrances. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuels, your godfather of style. And guys, in today's video, seven fucking fabulous fragrances that you can wear any season, any reason, any geography, any age, any time. To be on this list, you gotta smell like a boss, like a CEO, like a power player. You need to be able to come into the room and command all of the attention. These are seven great signature fragrances that I stake my reputation on. Guys, trust me, wear these and you will be the man. Let's get started. Shout out to the CIA. Guys, if you wanna become part of the movement, do me a favor, join us on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content that will only be visible there. Details down in the description. First up, from the house of Frederick Mall, we have none other than Bois de Rage, or French Lover. Guys, if you've ever smelled Creed Spice and Wood, Creed Spice and Wood wanted to smell like this, but this smells even better. And it's easily more wearable, in my opinion. It has this spicy woodiness that's just incredible. Tell you guys, every time I wear this, I feel like the man rocking Bois de Rage or French Lover. Starts off my seven fucking fabulous fragrances. Next up from the house of Dior, we have Bois de Jean. Guys, again, another one of these Bois. Guys, what you gotta find with this fragrance, this is an incredible iris-based fragrance that I'm gonna tell you on masculine skin does wonders. There are many gems from the Dior private line, but this one, guys, is the one that's universally loved, worn, and appreciated. And I would tell you, gentlemen, it is on the hype train, and I will tell you, the hype is well-deserved. Especially around the spring or the summertime, another one of those fucking fabulous fragrances that will just get you noticed. Liking the list so far? Good, do me a favor, hit me down in the comment section, let me know what are some of your favorite fucking fabulous niche fragrances for this list. Next, from the House of Creed, we have none other than Silver Mountain Water. Silver Mountain Water, in my opinion, is one of their best fresh offerings. I gotta admit, I love Green Irish Tweed, I love Mendocene Imperial, but it's this one that I wear and rock most often, especially in the warmer months. And it makes a great signature scent. Why? Because Green Irish Tweed has so many clones and copies of it, and so does Milosim Imperial. This one, for me, is one that stands the test of time, and even the copies and clones don't do it justice. Silver Mountain Water is a well-deserved fucking fabulous fragrance. Next, from Armand Jane, we have none other than Armand Man. Guys, if you have never smelled this fragrance, what in the hell are you waiting for? This one smells straight up like a boss. I love this line, and I'll be talking about it much more in the coming months, but this one started my love affair. Honestly, if I was still in corporate America, I would bathe myself in this one because this just smells like boss. This smells like power. This smells like CEO at a powerhouse to boot. This one just screams success. All right, next on our list from bond number nine, we have none other than Shea Bond. Shea Bond, I like this better than Green Irish Tweed because I like the tea dry down more so than the little green or verbena stuff in Green Irish Tweed. Yeah, Shea Bond, I will tell you gentlemen, do not sleep on this just because you may not like the House of Bond, especially in the spring and summer months. This is a must have in my fragrance collection. I rock, I wear, this is my third bottle of this one and I will keep it in my rotation. Shea Bond starts off smelling great, but as it gets into the mid and the dry down, it just becomes a kick ass fucking fabulous niche fragrance that I will always have in my collection. Next up from the Chanel exclusive line, we have none other than Boy, but it almost got beat out by 1957, but I gotta give the nod to Boy. The iris, the sandalwood is just in freaking incredible. This is what actually made me start digging the Chanel exclusive line and made me want to go buy so many of them. Chanel Boy is one of those fragrances that just when you put it on guys, it should just come with a soundtrack. It should come with a Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. It is that good. If I lived in Manhattan, especially in spring and summertime, I would wear this stuff walking through Times Square like, yeah, yeah, that would be me. Chanel Boy, I'm gonna tell you, oh boy, do yourself a favor. Do not pass up on this fragrance. Get over to the Chanel Exclusive Boutique if you can, buy it. 
Go buy a sample of it, two ml sample, put it on your skin and see what happens. Your godfather will tell you, you will not be disappointed with Chanel Boy, oh boy. And to round the list off, we have none other than, what do you think? What do you think it's gonna be? It has to be fucking fabulous from Tom Ford. Fucking fabulous. I will tell you, when this fragrance first came out, I was kinda like, what? I mean, it smelled good, but it did not smell fucking fabulous to me. But boy, was I wrong. The more I wore this, the more I loved it, especially when it got into the mid and the base. I was like, whoo, it didn't come out like tobacco vanille or Tuscan leather or even oud wood. It didn't come out like Neroli Portofino. It had to get into the mid and base notes before I really started to love this. Kind of like tobacco oud was. That's what I had, to, that's what this fragrance had to do. So a lot of people when it first came out were kind of like, eh, on it. But the more and more this started to get out, the more people start digging it. I love this fragrance so much that I actually keep the candle around because the candle, you've heard me talk about it before, the candle smells incredible. These two will always be in my collection because they are just great masculine, fucking fabulous fragrances. On your body, in your house, great combination. Godfather, out.